In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the median of a data set. The median means the middle of the data. First, you want to make sure that your data is in number order from the smallest to the largest. The only way you can find the middle of the data is if your data is in order. Now, median it means the middle. Just like this photo shows the median of a road. The median of a road is in the middle. Sometimes it's cement, sometimes it's maybe a barrier, sometimes grass, sometimes it's just that yellow straight line. All of those mean the, the middle of the road, the median. And so we're going to find the median of our data set here. The easiest way to find your median is to cross out a small value with a large value and keep going until you get to a middle value. And in this case, we had an odd number of data, so our median is eight. It's not always that simple, though, that you have an even set of data. In this next example, it shows how sometimes you have two numbers that are in the middle. So again, when you start with data, you always wanna make sure it's already organized from smallest to largest. I've done that for you in this step. So I want to show you here what happens when you get two numbers in the middle. So as we start crossing out, you will see that we end up with two values in the middle because we have an even data set. So our two numbers in the middle here are six and eight. What I can do is write down the values from six to eight. And then I can find the median of those values. So I can cross off both the six and the eight and what I'm left with is seven. Seven is our median for this set of data. Even though it does not show up, it still is the middle value of the data we were given. So if you have data that does not have or that has an even number, this is one method you can use to find that data. Next here, I'm going to show you a little bit more difficult. In this difficult problem, you are going to see where um, you're just using decimal numbers. So again, organize your information from smallest to largest. I have done that for you here in this one. And again, we're going to just start crossing off from smallest to largest until we get to a middle value. In this case, we had two middle values, but since they are both the exact same, our middle value is going to be just that, 0 0.4. Our last one that I'm going to show you is finding with integers. Integers are those negative numbers. In this, I'm going to show you how you can um, still find your information. Remember that when you're ordering them, the biggest negative number that you have is actually your smallest number. Because it's the furthest away from where zero would be and then each number between it. Now we can just go through and keep doing the same process of crossing out from a small to a big until we get to a middle value. And in this case, we had an odd number of, value, of data, so we ended up with one as our answer. Finding the median can be quite simple. All you have to do is find the middle number. But remember, if you have an even data set, you might have to find the value that's hidden or missing in the middle.